Charlie Cushane here to do another woodworking project. This time I'm going to make a decorative hanging device inside of my front door of my house so that when people come in, there'll be a Florida motif design with a mirror and some hanging hooks. So stick with me as we turn all this into a beautiful sculpture. Okay, the basic design is one that uses a very fancy metal art mermaid that you see here. It's beautiful. This will be the top of my design. And under that, I have this four foot long mirror. So people, when they come in and take their hat off or whatever, they can see themselves in the mirror. Um, and then under that, I found all these beautiful, you can see, two flip-flops with a hanging hook. It's all cast iron with a nice welded on hook. So I'm gonna paint these with all these different fluorescent colors to make them look cool. So let's start cutting some wood and making a frame for the mirror and everything else. Okay, now I'm laying out where I want to cut this. The flip-flops are going to go on the board. Here are the flip-flop hooks. They're all dirty, so I'm cleaning them. Okay, now that these flip-flop hooks are all clean, I'm gonna take a steel wool and go over these hooks because it looks like they've been uh, <laughs> banging around in a truck somewhere. Okay, time to put a coat of primer on these and I'm using this flat red primer let that dry and then I can start the painting now it's time to stain this piece of wood I'm trying something new this is a bear wood stain. It's uh, fast drying water based. I've never tried anything like this and this is a white wash pickling. So we're going to try it on this. Well it does look white. <laughs> it almost looks like paint. Okay, it's time to paint the flip-flops and I picked three colors instead of four, I went to three and I originally picked these fluorescent. It was high gloss. It was at Home Depot. It was all they had that was unique. Um, but we went to Michael's and we got similar colors but they're not as glossy. They're sort of like a satin pastel-y color and it's called this gold. I don't know if you've ever heard of it before. Professional paint. So we're going to try that, three of the red, two yellow, two orange. So let's get spraying. The primer's all dried and I'm not only painting the three flip-flops, but I'm also painting screws to hold them down when I mount it.
It is a pastel-y color. There's yellow. And there's orange. And there you have a second coat on all of the flip-flop hanging hooks. They look fantastic. Helmsman Spar Urethane. Satin finish. Okay, here's my project coming together. As you can see, here's the mermaid on front here, on the top of my mirror. Um, then I have my mirror with all these shells that I've sort of spaced the way I like it. These are all shells we found. And then here's the piece of wood I was been making that the hanging hooks are gonna hang. So I sort of centered the shells. Now I'm gonna take some of this tape Take some of this tape. I'm going to put it on here, sort of as a way of letting me know. So, my goal is to take off the shelves here. Then, I'm going to take this clear glue, Elmer's clear glue. I'm going to take it and spread it all over here and then I'm going to take some beach sand and pour it on and that's going to give a base under the shells. It's time to put the sand on and then we'll stick the shells to that. So the first thing I want to do is get my nice towel. I went and got a full container of sand from Siesta Key Beach today. It's the beautiful white sand. All the way up to the edge. I think that's pretty good. Now we put the sand on it. Well, that's on there. Now I guess we'll have to wait and see how it turns out. This has been drying for almost 24 hours, so let's tip it up and see what we have here. Very lightly touching it with this brush. Just get any loose sand off. Perfect! Let's go stick some shells to it. Okay, the sand part came out great. Now we're going to put down all the shells on top. And to do that, I'm using my Gorilla Glue that I love to use as a two-part clear epoxy. Uh, so I'm going to probably do this in a couple of batches because they only have a few minutes. So, let me get started here. I gotta mix them up. All right, I'm gonna start in the corners. Put some of these big shells on. Just, this is a one-time thing. <laughs> Just like that. Okay, round two for all these smaller shells. Okay, 
There we go. I was just routering what they call a keyhole in the back side of my piece. And what it is is a screw with a head, large head, goes in the hole and then goes up. And that holds, it'll hold it to the wall without it um, showing on the front side. And that's done with my plunge router. As you can see, there's the router bit that you buy and put in your router and that cuts that slot. Okay, here we are at my front door and I drew a line with, and put and found the studs, three studs, 16 inches apart. And this is where I'm gonna put the screws to hang this piece of wood. And I have a washer that approximates the thickness I need to go to. There we go. Perfect. Time to put this up. Goes right in that slot we made. Perfect. Okay, Jenny, you wanna hold it? Here we go. Okay, you let go. Okay, we gotta add a couple screws to hang the mermaid. There we go. Okay, time to put the flip flops on. The hanging hooks. Well, here it is, the final product. The mermaid mirror flip-flop hanging hook for the front of my house in Florida. It looks fantastic. What do you guys think?